What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another Screw Toy Action Figure Review. And today we'll be looking at the McFarlane DC Multiverse, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Steppenwolf, and Darkseid. I did find these two at my local GameStop on my way from on my way home from work. I happened to stop and the guy was just pulling them out the box. I personally don't collect any DC figures, uh, movie or comic, uh, but my stepdad does. So I did pick these two up for him, and uh, I was fortunate fortunate enough for him to let me borrow these and review them. Enough of me rambling on. Let's get a quick look here at the packages, because it is pretty simple. Your standard McFarlane toy uh, DC Multiverse packaging. You got the figures here up front. Uh, if you're 12 and under, you can't play with it. You got DC Multiverse down here. The name of the character. You got... Um, Justice League 2021, that's the Zack Snyder's uh, logo thing. Um, on the side, you can see I still have some of the plastic. As I said, this was just unpackaged as I got there. Uh, you got another side uh, view window here with Steph Steppenwolf, uh, McFarland Toys. A product, sh oh no, no, actually, he's got the uh, picture from the movie. See Steppenwolf, Justice League, and then you got the rest of the figures from the wave. You got um, Aquaman, Ben Affleck's Batman, Cyborg, Flash, uh, Black Costume Superman, Darkseid, and Steppenwolf. And same thing with, you know, uh, Darkseid. Same thing on the side, on the back, picture of him from the movie. And uh, I think these look pretty cool, man. It says 22 moving parts. We'll see about that. But yeah, pretty standard McFarlane packaging. Not much. If you need the barcode for Steppenwolf, here it is. And it is upside down. Sorry about that. And here is Dark Sides. So yeah. Enough about the packaging. Let's get a closer look at these figures themselves. Now getting a quick look at all the accessories that both of these figures do come with. As you can see, it is not much. Um, Darkseid does come with a card from a shot of him from the movie. As you can see, it is a shot from the movie. You can see its name down here, Darkseid Justice League. On the back, you get a read-up. If you want to read it, just pause the video and you'll get some information on the dark side from the Zack Snyder's Justice League. Again, um, I think it's the same picture from the packaging. So I guess these are cool if you want to collect that. He does come with his weapon, which is like a spear slash trident weird alien weapon. It does look fairly well let's see all the details in there and yeah, I think it looks pretty good I feel that's one thing that McFarland Toys does very well is um, great sculpting he does absolutely great sculpting and great paint I think that looks really good it's just a great plastic with a kind of like a dirty wash over it and he also does come with a standard DC base to help them stand. Uh, Steppenwolf, same thing, DC stand to help him stand. And then he does come with his axe here. As you can see, let me turn down the light a little bit. Darken things up. You can see it is just a great plastic as uh, dark sides weapon again you can see all the nice details in there nicely sculpted I mean, not much to complain about kind of gives a uh, like a biomechanic type look it is a very pliable plastic it's the same for the dark side weapon so no fear of breakage or anything, but I feel like they will warp over time if they're holding it in hand. And then he does come with his Steppenwolf card shot from the movie. You can see down there, Steppenwolf 
Justice League back read up bio if you want to read that you can yeah man let's get a closer look here at the figures themselves here are both of the figures on the rotating base and uh honestly man there's a lot of things that i dislike about these figures but there are some things that i really do like about these figures um some major just some weird things going on with these two man um trying to say something positive about these two these are some of the two best mcfarlane toys that i've held in hand it felt like a higher quality than what mcfarlane has you know been putting out lately or since the beginning but uh yeah man let me, let's let's just get straight into it because uh, <laughs> there's some things i want to talk about let's get a look at steppenwolf and then we'll get a look at dark side himself so getting a closer look at steppenwolf he is a really good figure man um honestly maybe my favorite out of the two and uh <laughs> that's saying a lot because like i said earlier i'm not a big dc fan myself um and if i was to know anybody from um the dc comics it would be dark side and uh honestly didn't even know who stephen wolf was before the movie but just getting a close-up look at him man he is very 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 well sculpted and detailed all around i mean just look at them like every angle every any direction you look at him he just has so much to look at and every time i, I look at him closer it's just something else that just pops up you know pops up pops up on me and it's yeah man it's just a lot of good things going on on this figure i mean from head to toe it's just a lot of things, man. You can see at the top, got his horns going on there. Which nicely detailed and sculpted. Turn things down a little bit. As you can see, it is just a gray plastic. I'm not sure if it's maybe with a little bit of silver dry brushing and then some darker gray and brown and kind of like a greenish wash over it to kind of really help those details pop up back of his horns again as you can see every little angle you can just find something else to look at his face that is definitely only a face a mother could love. Let's see, but really well sculpted. Those eyes, man. Look at those eyes. And that face is really well sculpted and really well painted. I will I will give McFarland toys that. See the spikes on his neck. His armor on his chest. Got all those little spikes that kind of have like um almost like an organic feel to it in the movie you know they move all independently and separately his arms down to his hands you can see that he has some messed up hands man he just got some messed up hands <laughs> i was trying to find the word right words but those are some funky looking hands you can see all this little texture his armor and his stomach the back as well you can kind of it kind of gives it like uh the way it's you know set up and the pattern goes it kind of gives it like a mus a muscular musculature type feel to it you can see his skirt piece what would you call that i'm not too sure what what you would call this little flaps Again, and then his legs are all kind of like, I don't know, man. It's just a weird figure to hold in hand because of all these little details and stuff. On the back, he's got these weird-ass things going on, man. See his feet. Fucked up his feet. I can get it to focus. Yeah, man, look at that. 
some janky ass toenails. Pretty looking figure overall. One thing that I am very disappointed in is that it doesn't come with um, interchangeable hands. Not too sure of McFarlane. Again, I'm not a big McFarlane guy. I don't really collect any McFarlane toys. So I'm not sure if they uh, don't include interchangeable hands when in, with any of their figures. But it sucks that he can only hold it, this axe on this hand. Um, I wish it did came with interchangeable hands and that to put the axe in that hand was very very difficult it is a very tight and I'm talking about tight tight grip I'm like that that thing is not going anywhere so the articulation is pretty much what we've come to expect from McFarlane toys um, it's either hit or miss and this one's kind of uh, I would say in the better range of uh, McFarlane toys his head is on a doll, uh, dumbbell joint, so he can look up that much up, which is a fair amount. He can look that much down, which is not much, but it does start getting a little gappy back there. Uh, he does have some great head pivot, as you can see. That is really good head pivot. Um, his arms are on ball joints, so they both move up that much. As you can see, this is a very big figure, so he is kind of hard to keep in frame. He does have a upper bicep swivel, which was very tight at first, so I had to heat up. So, yeah. He has a single jointed elbow, which again, all these joints are very, very tight, so do be wary because I do hear about these figures breaking a lot. His hands seem to not want to rotate i'm not sure see so kind of starting to get loose right there um so yeah i don't think he has any hand rotation but it does hinge that much back but then you get that big old joint right there man and i think that's just that's just ugly um it does hinge that much down again but you do start seeing that joint up there to pop pop up a little bit so that is unfortunate his hand cannot swivel uh, but his, I did forget to mention that right here at the elbow, it is single jointed, but it does swivel as well. Uh, what I do like though is that the chest and waist piece are two like uh, a diaphragm cut up here and then a lower waist uh, cut down there. So it's not that ab crunch and um, it is two cuts right there. So he can pivot, not much. As you can see, he can pivot this much this way and this much this way. And he can crunch with just that upper diaphragm cut. Not much. And this much back. It's not much. But with that lower diaphragm cut, he can crunch that far back. And still not very much forward. Um... His legs are on uh, ball joints. Well, I'm not too sure what's going on down there. But he can kick that much up, which is a good amount. He can kick that much back, which is a decent amount. He does have a little bit of shifting, but no real cut. But that is better shifting than I've seen out of... Uh, most figures it's like the mafex they have that kind of that same setup as well as sh figure arts they, well no it's mostly mafex that had that kind of that shifting thing going on but for the most part it usually never shifts but this one's actually fairly good he has single jointed knees they can bend that much uh it does not rotate at the leg he does have a hinge that can uh, ankle hinge that can hinge that much up that much down which is not much he does have kind of almost an ankle pivot kind of just rotates and he does have separate toe articulation which i think is pretty cool man and he does have peg holes at the bottom i'm getting a close-up look at the big boy himself dark side 
Um, he is the variant without the um, without the chest plate and his armor. I believe the one with the chest plate and armor is an exclusive to Target. It was a SDCC exclusive, but since SDCC is not happening this year, as of now, um, it is it is a Target exclusive. So um, this is him without his armor, as he is shown at the beginning of the movie without it. Um, so I think it looks looks pretty good, man. Um, this is my least favorite out of the two. Aesthetically, I think it looks really good, but there's some things going on with him that just kind of not a big fan of. Um, yeah, man, but I think it looks pretty good overall. I do have one question for him, though, is um, where are your nipples, sir? He doesn't have any nipples. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, man, he looks pretty good overall. That blue plastic is a um, metallic bluish kind of. It's it's molded in that blue plastic, so you can't see a little bit of marbling in there, but not not anything too bad, as you can see down here. I'm not well. I don't know how well you can see it, but there is some marbling going on. Not not too bad, but yeah, I man. You can see throughout his whole body, um, he's kind of got that you know rough skin texture. Kind of almost looks like like hmm. I want to say maybe like cowhide, kind of like rough and scarred up and just just rough this is the best way i can explain it but yeah you can see those yellow eyes piercing in there a black wash around them to really make them pop out you can see his helmet his bald head shoulder pads but well, those are more like back pads and collar pads as you can see his forearms he's got those gauntlets right there look really good they kind of do stop on the inside so i don't know what's the whole purpose in those his skirt piece which i'm not a big fan of i will talk about that here in a second his boots do look fairly good so they're very well sculpted and detailed he doesn't have any treads at the bottom but he does have peg holes as you can move up his back really well sculpted and detailed yeah, man, just a good looking figure overall. Again, this one only does come with that the, the set of hands he comes with on the body already. No interchangeable hands, uh, which so if you wanted him to hold it on his left hand, that spear, uh, that's a little unfortunate because he won't be able to do that. Uh, it is a tight grip as well. Um, as you can see, pretty tight grip, like stepping the wolf. So when I got this figure out the package, his arm right here at the upper bicep was already detached and every time i would pop it in it would pop off so uh, i heated it up with a hair dryer popped it in run ran it under cold water and i let it sit and uh this moment of truth see if it stays on and it doesn't so unfortunately i don't know if it's just my copy or if it's every copy but uh that is defective unfortunately stays on no it doesn't stay on at all actually so that is a little unfortunate again um this isn't my my personal figure it is my uh stepdad so it's up to him if that's really a deal breaker so getting a closer look at this guy's articulation it is decent uh his head can look up that much and it can look down just a little bit if anything it is on dub dumbbell joint so he can't tilt this much this way this much this way um his shoulders are kind of strange man so like they have a little bit of shifting back and forth which is a little bit weird and now my problem with this figure is that the arm came off like it was popped off like straight out of the packaging so as soon as you start rotating it here at the upper bicep it does pop off fairly easy but it does peg back in there fairly easy so you just gotta kind of work with it i guess which kind of sucks um he does have double jointed elbows that are very stiff but do bend in more than 90 degrees which is pretty impressive for a big hefty figure uh he does have 
swivel here at the at the wrist which is um, better than Steppenwolf so it does rotate a full 360 and it does hinge all the way down and you can see all these little rivets which is very unfortunate I don't know why they do them like that because it looks very ugly with that hinge popping up and it does hinge all the way back uh, that what's it called that um that gauntlet gets in the way a little bit so there's oh see there goes his arm again <laughs> just that is pretty sucky man that's what like the second figure this month has had bicep problems but um yeah the wrists do rotate and hinge up and down now my favorite part of this figure is the setup here same thing with stephen wolf he does have a diaphragm cut up here and he does have a waist cut down here and the way he's designed he's very slim here at the waist or the lower torso or ab area i'm, I'm just saying random shit but he does pivot with just the upper diaphragm just the upper diaphragm so not not, and not anything else he does pivot this way and he does pivot this way this much so he does get a real deep pivot there uh he, he can crunch with just the upper cut just a little bit and just a little bit back but with that lower ball joint at the waist he does bend all the way back and all the way forward he can tilt all the way to the side and all the way to the other side um, his legs are on the same setup as Steppenwolf so he can kick just a little bit forward man because that skirt piece does get in the way maybe if you try a little bit more but I don't want to force it too much as it is not my figure he can kick not much at all he does have single jointed knees depending that much so just 90 degrees uh, he does have that shifting setup just like Steppenwolf so he can shift his thigh just that much uh, and now my least favorite part of this figure are these ankles man he can hinge that much up that much down which is pretty good but he doesn't have any and i'm talking about none ankle pivot at all no ankle pivot whatsoever on a 2021 action figure man that is unacceptable i don't know why and it's not just because this this thing gets in the way his little boot cuffs and stuff it's just it's just not built in there as you can see it's just maybe it's I'm, I'm missing something but no man he has no ankle pivot at all but he does have to articulation right there and uh pegos at the bottom of the feet now getting a look at some size comparisons i don't have much to compare them to as i don't collect dc characters um but i do have plenty of marvel legends to compare them to so we'll have some fun with that uh here we have dark side and steppenwolf next to the marvel legends 10 year anniversary thanos and you could just see that these two just tower over him man and i thought this figure was a pretty big figure but he just looks tiny compared to these two obviously mcfarland does do seven inch scale and uh, marvel legends does do six inch so um it does have a little bit unfair advantage but i feel even if these were scaled down to six inch they would still be a little bit taller than him so he does look pretty tiny next to them we have bucky from the disney plus wave and uh <laughs> he's just tiny man these 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 two are just huge huge figures man so they do dwarf him here we have him next to one of my favorite figures of this year the modular iron man again very tiny compared to these two you can just see that they tower over him here we have him next to modok again just huge figures overall even with this flame effect and as big as modok is these two still tower over him uh which is crazy man that's that's insane here we have him next to the comic book thanos and again they just make him look tiny here we have him next to the Mesco's Vapor. Again, looking tiny. Lastly, here we have him next to the SH Figuarts 
battle in game four. Did forget to mention that this skirt piece does bother me a little bit. Um, it is like hanging on by a small, tiny piece of plastic, man. And um, yeah, man, that feels like it could just rip off at any minute. So that is very, very strange that they made it like that. Um, I'm not sure why they decided to do that. Uh, so just be very wary of that. If anything, if it rips, you could just glue it back on. But that's not ideal. So do be careful of that. And um, it's not just my figure. I've seen plenty of reviews that do mention that that plastic piece is very thin. And uh, overall, man, these figures are okay. I would say they're 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 not bad. They're not horrible. But they're not absolutely great there's just some things that i personally don't like um what's his name i wanted to call him apocalypse see as you can see i'm i'm very marvel biased but um dark side he doesn't have any ankle pivot i'm not sure if i'm missing out on something i'm just scared to really twist it but i'm pretty sure he doesn't have any ankle pivot his biceps, his arms keep popping off, and it's just a design. The way he, they, they designed that bicep, it just it's flawed. Um, and just that skirt piece on the back, man, I don't know why they did it so thin. That's just scary. I'm scared that it's going to rip off over time. Um, just just weird things that they did. You know, the hinges, when you hinge the hands in some, of the, in some, some areas where you hinge it, you can see that 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 hinge really stick out and it's really really noticeable like right there as you can see the hinge on steppenwolf really weird uh not much to complain about step steppenwolf i mean other than you know lack of accessories i wish he came with interchangeable hands his feet are very very small so he is very hard to stand it took me about 10 minutes just to stand these two on the rotating base um but overall i think steppenwolf is a very solid figure and just weird things again like the the hinges his uh wrists don't rotate he does have ankle pivot though um it, it just a solid looking figure overall man very aesthetically pe pleasing um funny that i liked him a lot more than um dark side i really thought i was gonna like that dark side more just some things holding this figure back man um i will say if you're a fan of dc mcfarland toys or the sec Zack Snyder, I, I just don't know why I can't say his name today. Zack Snyder's just sleek. Uh, I would say pick up these figures. The good does outweigh the bad in this case. Um, me personally, I'm not a big DC fan. I am a Batman fan, but other than that, I'm not a big DC fan. Uh, I did enjoy Zack Snyder's just sleek. I thought it was decent. Um, just not really attached to the franchise or um these dc characters for me to want to have them in my personal collection uh but overall solid figures man i give dark side a 6.5 out of 10 again just small things holding them back from being really good and i give um what's his name steppenwolf a 7.5 out of 10 um again i think he would have been a solid 8.5 even you know a little bit higher if he had you know better feet to stand it, it makes them those small feet really make it difficult for him to stand interchangeable hands and um just just a couple other little things like the hinges those big ass pins man why, why are they so big i know marvel Legends still does that as well um if i'm looking for a figure with pins as you can see marvel legends does do pins here in the thighs but these are just real big and prominent and you can see them but overall man solid figures um not trying to sound like a hater or anything a hater or anything um i do enjoy some dc stuff i'm just not a huge fan of it and these figures i was trying to put my bias for marvel and you know not my much love for dc aside but there's just some weird things about these figures that i'm not a big fan of i know my stepdad really loves mcfarland toys and he does enjoy the DC Zack, Zack Snyder's uh, DC uh, movies. Me personally, I'd rather just stick to MCU and Marvel. Uh, but overall, man, good figures. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let's try to get to a thousand followers by followers, a <laughs> thousand subscribers. I'm sorry if you haven't noticed, but 
I'm very, very tired. Uh, long day at work, long, long week overall. But um, yeah, man, enough of me rambling on. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Uh, comment down below what you did like, what you didn't like about this review, what you liked about these figures, what you didn't like about these figures. Any of you will be picking them up here as they are coming out in the States. Uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.